shorts. Ha 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 my shorts. That's my leg, not my shorts. Uh, they, um, Go double in there. Hey, baby. Coming down for a torture session. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Step out of my shorts. Have your turn. Yeah. Fingers, toes. <laughs> Step out of me. Quick. Step it, baby. Not a child. Let's go in. Good morning, good morning. It's Jilly Cube from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you with a paw. I'm just trying actually some uh, new paints that my friend from England, um, Jilly, the other Jilly, bought over when she come and visited me. They are the PBO Studio Acrylics High Velocity. So I'm trying these paints because, um, well, she gave them to me to try. So I thought I will give them a go with the um, Dutch pour style and mix them very thin. And I've just mixed them with water only, nothing else. So um, I'm going to just try the Dutch pour. It might be a, a kiss and blow. I am not sure. The white is my Montmartre Studio Acrylics might turn on my overhead light because there's a bit of shadow. Uh, there you go. Is that any better? Um, yes, yeah, so the white is the Montmartre Studio Acrylics that I'm going to put as my base coat. And then, um, which I'm trying to do very, very thin like everybody keeps recommending to me to do when I'm doing the Dutch pour is do your paints really really thin and this might not be thin enough I'm not sure it's not flowing as easy as I see some of the paints flow um, I'll just try it hey that's all you can do you have just have this problem with the Dutch pores of getting my paint thin enough well it's not I can do it thin but I just got this thing that oh my goodness no that must be way too you know too thin it's um ugh. I don't know. I've just got to get over that fear, I suppose. But I'm not worried about that, of um, sending it over the edges yet, because hopefully when I blow it. So, PBO. 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 High viscosity. This is just with water, and I've done them very, very thin. So... No silicone added whatsoever. So I'm going to see how I go. So I'm going to kind of do a big wishbone shape. Oop, well that's like a odd wishbone shape. So that was, it actually hasn't got the colour. Can't even see, it hasn't even got a colour color on it. So that's a uh, like a greeny metallic -y, and this is a pinky metallic -y. And then there is like a teal. It's very sparkly. It's very, very sparkly and nice. So I'm thinking that it will give good results. But, um, you know, Dutch, Dutch poor Aussie kiss style is what I think I will do. But let's just see how we oh how we go. I'm um, gonna put some real bright orange in there. This one isn't um, isn't metallic. It's not shiny like the others. So yeah, Jilly, my friend, when she came over in um, I think it was November uh, two thousand nineteen, she bought these with her, and I haven't really tested them out on anything. Oh, look what I did. oh, that'll get blown. Yeah, so I'm giving them a go because people in England and Europe can obviously get these. This is like a fluoro pink. So this will be interesting. I mean, there's all sorts of nice bright colours in there. 
then I've got just a like a sandy cream color I don't think I really need this one in here but no oh, in, in for a penny in for a pound let's just do it do it do it I wasn't gonna add any dark color like I have got a black there because I just had it overtake a previous pour that I did so I will just do it this way see how we go let's just do it as they say um big hair dryer which i'm looking for a smaller version because this is like a really over the top big chubbly hair dryer and it's just awkward to use so obviously the best thing is is to get one that you feel easy to manage okay i could use my mini blower but it's a bigger canvas so i will stick with the big girl Okay, just, just low. over the whole wow is this trousers okay now I need to um, where is it I need to just take the white over and do my edges I look how bright and vibrant the colors are I mean of course I've done what I always do in like filled up nearly my whole canvas when I always would like more negative space I still can't seem to learn that trick of restraint at this point in time but um, just pouring the white to cover my very edges but I, I don't worry too much about because they can always be fixed up after even you know after it dry you can go and do your edges with white or um, see what just blow this a bit further see how I go oh. doing Molly help me Molly oh I've gone and done something Wow, I've gone and lost all of my duvelate, the, 
the um, any negatives, but you know it is so bright and vibrant, and it's oh, it's so sheeny, like it's got a real sheen to it. It's crazy gorgeous. It, the cells look in it, and there is no um, silicone in this at all. Bit odd there. I love this vibrancy. That's pretty gorgeous. Thank you, Jilly in England, who sent me these paints. It's always nice to have a try with the different paints. It's lovely. I mean, this is way over the top. I should scoop out all this center, but it is so bright and vibrant. I just know so many people that will love this. I might just see what a little teeny tiny balloon kiss does in here. It may not add anything to it, but just some of the, no, it doesn't really, it's not really doing much because the paint is very thin so it's just to sort of put some bit of color in where there's a bit of blobs of white so I might leave that I would only do a few balloon kissing around this very bottom edge so I mean, if you were doing it and you didn't want to do that, then obviously it's your choice. So remember, your art room, your rules, your way. My rules are there's no rules, so uh, it's all good. Well, that was fun, and I will definitely, definitely give that another go, because those colours are so, they're just gorgeous. Very nice. Thank you, Jilly, for... Um, bringing those over to Australia with you when you came and uh, giving me an opportunity to give this particular technique a go. So it's a bit crazy, but you know, I love it. It's got lacing and considering it had no silicone or anything, that's still a bit too wet look to do anything. I love it. It's bright, it's vibrant, it's my my jam, my thing, I love bright, vibrant, I love over the top, as you know I'm not a minimalistic person, even though I do like some, I like minimalistic, but it's just not my preference, so let me know what you think guys, it's definitely better looking at it probably from this, oh that paint is very runny, oh my goodness, that's what I don't have a, I don't, I have a hard time with how runny the paint has to be for the Dutch pores, but I just can't bring myself to <laughs> make the paint runny enough normally. So thank you so much for watching my little creation today. Let me know what you think, but I'll tell you it is so vibrant. So I will be putting photos on my acrylic art by Julie Cube. Facebook page, um, yeah, it's pretty out there, <laughs> uh, uh, dried photos, but wait for the end and I'll put more photos and um, show you how it is. And until next time, thanks so much for joining me. Thank you for subscribing and if you haven't done so, please do so. It's absolutely free. So yeah, let me know what you think. I know lots of you give me some really good tips and tricks for different techniques and I take those on board for sure and thanking Molly from uh, Molly's channel she does 
everybody tells me each time I do a Dutch pull. Have you watched Molly? Molly does really good Dutch pull. I know she, I am subscribed to Molly's channel. I think she's the most gorgeous young lady. I just love her to bit. She does wonderful, wonderful work. So, um, yeah, Molly, I need you here in my studio in Australia. Can you please pop over? So thank you, guys. Thanks to Molly. Thank you. Bye for now.